Hello to our Hills. Happy Friday and welcome to Carolina Now. I'm Donnie Holloway. Want something fun to do tonight? Bring your friends out to Cinemash, an event hosted by UNC MASH to explore Asian American film and food. The event will be held at the Union Auditorium from 6 to 9.30 p.m. The event organizers say that the program will showcase a selection of short films that present a more accurate depiction of the Asian American experience. I don't know what's better, seeing the films or free food. Hmm. Speaking of food, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, something that UNC students have to be thankful for a free meal. Happening on Thanksgiving, students who will be on campus will have the opportunity to attend a free Thanksgiving dinner sponsored by members of the Carolina Club and the Educational Foundation. I think it's such a great idea. Joining me now to share more about this is Kyle Warner, one of the event organizers. So tell me a little bit more about this event. Absolutely. Well, thanks for having me on today, Donnie. So Tar Heel Thanksgiving is in its fifth year. So every year we provide a Thanksgiving meal for students who are remaining on campus for Thanksgiving. Yeah. So even though they can't be home with their families for the holiday, they still have the opportunity to have a meal and it's free completely covered for by members of the Carolina Club as well as members of the Educational Foundation. That's awesome and now registration actually ended yesterday but people can still come right? That's right so we've actually extended the deadline to register until midnight tonight yeah. so you can register online at bit.ly slash thanks UNC you'll find the form there and you can register up until midnight tonight. Okay cool and you still have a week for the preparations getting all this together you think you're gonna get any sleep between now? And yeah now? I'm hoping so. <laughs> So um, we have um, a good staff at the Carolina Club yeah. that is helping with this. We're also still looking for some volunteers. So if you are remaining on campus for Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving I would encourage you to um, help volunteer with signing in, um, kind of directing students as they come for the meal. We're looking to have about 500 students, so we're going to need some support with that on Definitely. the day of. Yeah, it sounds like a great cause to get involved with. Now, this is the fifth year that this has been going on. About how many students overall are you expecting? Yeah, yeah. so um, in years past, we've had anywhere from, I think the first year we had about only 200 students, and now we're looking at over 500. So wow. last year we had just shy of 500, and we actually just checked, reached the mark, and are currently at 500 students. So very very excited to be, you know, yeah. breaking records every year and consistently um, bringing in students for the event. That's awesome. Well, good luck. Hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. Good thanks so much, Donnie. Great to have you. Yes, thanks for coming on. All right, and uh, for more, we'll go now uh, to our weather. Uh, the temperature is currently 53 degrees, so you'll probably want to bring a jacket as you head out. Expect sunny skies and a 0% chance of precipitation. The overnight low will be 36. And for more about this weekend, let's go to Kimothy Jones, an exciting time for Roy Williams. But first, tell us about his win, uh, Kimothy. Thanks, Donnie. Carolina basketball head coach Roy Williams has reached a milestone here at UNC. Though the Hall of Fame coach has over 800 wins on his resume, he won his 400th game as Carolina head coach on Wednesday night in the Smith Center. This makes Williams the first coach in NCAA basketball history to win 400 games at two different schools. As most may know, Williams served as Kansas head coach from 1989 to 2003. How did Carolina get Williams his 400th win, you ask? They did it with a 93-81 victory over Bucknell on Wednesday. The Bison never led, but proved to be a small test for the Heels as Carolina was not able to pull away until the final four minutes. Joe Barry was a little rusty seeing his first game action of the season, going only one for 11 from the field, but he did dish out six assists. Theo Pinson and Luke May were able to pick up the scoring slack, however. Pinson chipped in with a career-high 19 points, and May led the Heels for the second straight game with 20 points while pulling down nine boards. Carolina will travel to the West Coast over Thanksgiving break to play in the PK-80 Phil Knight Invitational in Portland, Oregon. But first, they'll make a stop in California to play Stanford on Monday night at 11.30 on ESPN2. Also, the Carolina football team will be playing their last home game of the season against Western Carolina on Senior Day. Come out early as the team will be recognizing the seniors for their four-year contribution to Tar Heel football. Back to you, Donnie. All right, we'll be watching. Thanks so much, Kimothy. And thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend. That's what's going on in Carolina right now. If you see something you'd like for us to cover, tag us.